This video is going to give you a basic understanding of what you need to complete the charting section and the basics of this chart and then some helpful hints as you go through the section. So what we need are, well first of all is the chart. This is Block Island chart and it is chart 13205TR and we will use these parallel rules we'll use dividers and a calculator a pencil and then this reference book is helpful I'll make some videos that go through the points used in the chart but this has a light list in it which can be time saving when you're doing a lot of these problems so these are the basic things you need to complete this charting section parallel rules dividers and a chart and a pencil that is the bare bones Calculated is very helpful most of the time you have one on your phone and this reference book is all is used in the second section too it comes in handy when we're looking up points but the video after this I'll go through the points used on the chart so you could get away without this I recommend it now let's look at some basics of this chart starting with the compass rows here we are with the compass rows this X represents the center this inner ring is magnetic. During this course, we only use this outer ring. See this zero to a star? These are degrees true. This is what we're gonna use and when we, good, this is degrees true. And now let's look over here at the latitude scale. This is the latitude scale. This is the longitude scale. Now the latitude scale, you can see there's a scale right here that says nautical miles. The latitude scale is also in nautical miles. See there's a black section and a white section, and a black section and a white section. These are, this is one minute, which is also one nautical mile. We can measure that, we can test it, we can prove it. So one minute is one nautical mile there we are we proved that so latitude we measure distances from here longitudes we don't measure distances from here remember we had one nautical mile see that's not right so latitude longitudes these are parallels you see these lines run perfectly east to west these are parallels these that run north and south these are meridians and we're going to use those in combination with our parallel rules and dividers to get latitudes and longitudes so we can if we need to measure let's say see this 41 4105 4110 let's say we need to find 4115.6 if you if you guess you're not going to get it what you do you either you line your parallel rules up on this line you can use the outer edge or you see this inner black line I like to use that one because I can lay it right over like this then walk it up to 15.6 right there's 15.345 I'm not gonna make it so I walk this up 15.5 15.6 and now I can draw a line Let's say we need to find 41.15.6 and 71.39.2. So I'm going to draw a line here. And now I'll line it up on a meridian and we'll get to 39.2. I'm going to have to be up a little ways. 39.2. 39.1.2. Find an X. There we are. So that's how you find latitude and longitude. And now let's look at a shortcut. What if, okay, let me start over. Let's look at a shortcut here. Let's say we want to go 15, 6. We can use a combination of both of these, parallel rules and dividers, which a lot of times one is harder to get with the parallel rules than the other. So I can go up here, 15, and I can draw that line 
and then we were at 39.2. So I can take my dividers, get them to 39.2, and then walk those down that line. And that is a, that's a very accurate way, right? Now here's another helpful hit. Let's say I have this position, but I want to find the latitude and longitude of that position. I can take this, and you always keep it relative to these parallels and meridians. So I can get the latitude by putting one point here, walking it up to this line. You gotta kinda swing an arc to make sure you're there. And then I can calculate that here. 4120, and then 19, 18, 17, 16, that's 15.6. And I can get it from here too. Walk it up. 35, 6, 7, 8, 9.2. So those are ways of transferring latitudes and longitudes onto this. And let's look at these parallel rules and dividers. They can be a challenge to use. You'll find the, the first part of chart navigation, the most difficult things are using these parallel rules and these dividers to get latitudes and longitudes. After a while, it will become easy to you. And I can show you a few things these do. If I line this up on a parallel, I can actually walk these horizontally down the chart. As long, so I hold one side and I go this way and then I touch them. See how that's parallel? And I walk this over. I can walk them straight down this horizontal line as long as they touch. See, and I'm still nice and parallel. That's why they call them parallel rules. So if I'm trying to walk from here, let's say to up here somewhere, you'll find that you end up missing it, right? I'm going to miss it. So what you do is take a big step the other way and go up this way. And you can, you'll end up getting the feel of these things. Just walk them around a bit and you'll start realizing how they work. You have to take these sideways steps sometimes. And now everywhere I go, you'll see, I just walked it all over, but watch, when I line up, I'm still gonna be parallel. See that? I'm still parallel with this parallel. And as long as they don't slip, sometimes you're going, if you start grabbing them here and you start trying this, watch, They'll twist sometimes. So with these, you can take you can take compass courses. You line it up with the center, get to a uh, true degrees. You can walk this to a starting point. Say we are starting at Lake Montauk, and you see there I missed it. Just go down there. So at the entrance to Lake Montauk, I can strike that course from here. And that's how we use these parallel rules. Now dividers, we're looking for distances a lot of the times with these dividers. And let's say we need to mark a line. Here's another thing I forgot to mention. Say from 4120 to 7140. So from this point to the entrance to Lake Montauk here. Now they're too short, right? But they're parallel, right? So we can put them out long like this, use the inside edge here, the inside edge here, and watch. Line this side up, this side up. We can strike that line by striking the beginning there, the beginning here. Now we can close them up, finish that line. I like to put my pencil on it, bump it up here. Okay, so that was the trick for measuring longer distances. But now, how do we measure this line, right? We proved that nautical miles is over here. Each minute is one nautical mile. So if I come over here, get five nautical miles on my dividers, I can physically walk down this line and say five, ten, fifteen, Oh, and see how it's a little bit, I overshot it. So this is 15 here, scale it down, and then measure. So we had 15 plus this, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19.5 and a little bit. I'd say 19.5 if I were navigating. And that's how we're getting distances here. Okay, and just a brief review. This is Black Island chart, 13205TR. And what you need to complete this section is this chart. Dividers, parallel rules, pencil, calculator, and this is helpful. This um, reference book, because it's got the light list. And that's a general overview of what you need to complete this section and some, some general information on this chart and how these tools work.